did these three, excuse me, I did these three years, that's when they were the negatives. So I did the five years that we're doing, three of the years they were the negatives. So that's how we get that sign for the company. And this is most recent, as we're in 2019, so um, this was not, is not, or was not looking good at this time. Um, only in 2015, as you can see, that um, they were able to, um, that they didn't pay out the required amount. So actually, let me flip that. So in 2014, 2017, 2018, Mexico did well, um, as opposed to in 2015, 2016, where they didn't do as well in paying the amount due out. Um, compared to Spectrum um, Cable, the accounts payable continue, continue to increase from 2014 to 2018. So through four years, they were able to increase, whether by a lot or by a little bit. So their cash flow actually increased through those periods. So that's, that's great for a company. Um, different payment methods practiced by DISH. Um, the goal of the evening, my name is Zachary Mason, and today I have a working uh, capital management project for Treasury Management Finance 303. Um, today I'm going to be talking about DISH, Network, and Spectrum Cable. Um, we're going to discuss um, what Treasury Management is, I'm going to go over some financial ratios, and we're going to basically compare the two companies that are in the same industry and see which one is um, better at uh, maximizing its uh, wealth as well as um, who's a, which is a better ran company. So a little overview of treasury management. It involves the process of managing the cash, um, investments, and other financial assets of the business. Um, the goal, of course, um, is to optimize current and medium term liquidity, liquidity um, and making uh, solid financial decisions involving investment and um, investable assets. So as a treasurer, you will maintain a core relationship with the banks and involve, that are involved in working capital and money management. Um, now, a brief overview of DISH, as we, go, as we scroll down. DISH Network um, is a U.S. television provider and is based in Colorado. Um, it also had it actually had three owners, and um, as of 2016, the company provided services to 13.7 million uh, television and 580,000 broadband subscribers. So as you can see, they're growing and doing big things since 2016. Um, getting into working capital investment and short-term credit, a little short overview of what the project's gonna be kind of going over, of course. Um, network capital is the difference between the company's current liabilities so a positive net working capital indicates a company's current liabilities and it has sufficient funds to meet the current liabilities. So I'll put an example over here so in case anyone doesn't understand um, based on the verbiage. Um, so for example, if a current asset has 85,000 and the current liabilities is 40,000, net working capital will be 45,000. So it's pretty simple. All you would do is subtract the 85,000 um, from the current assets and from the current liabilities of 40,000 and then you get the 45,000. So it's very important that you get this number because it represents a short-term obligation and also um, uh, it's income producing activity. So um, it's, a good in, it's a good indicator um, of how efficient the business is operating and how um, good it is financially in the short term. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. And these are the formulas um, for networking capital. Networking capital equals current assets minus current liabilities per the example earlier. Um, a little vocabulary, um, inventory and accounts receivable management. So accounts receivable is the balance of money due to a firm for goods or services delivered or used but not yet paid for by customers. Um, another way is, um, it's basically uh, amounts of money owed by customers to another entity for goods or services delivered. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, going to the next one, credit and accounts payable management. That is basically um, an approach that consists of multiple techniques to ensure that buyers pay on time and credit is, of course, low. Um, based on Dish Network's um, five-year spread that we did um, from 2014 to, from 2013 to 2018, excuse me, um, it's accounts payable in 2014. Um, 2017 and 2018, all three of these were in the negatives, as you can see right here, meaning that the liability typically appears on the balance sheet. Um, that means they uh, kind of 
struggled to pay out um, their, their liability. Only in 2015 and 2016, um, this didn't pay out more than the amount required. So compare that to Spectrum Cable, um, it continues to increase um, to 2014 and 2018, which means the cash flow increased through those periods. Um, just a quick summary over that, DISH is doing better. So that's one for DISH, um, zero for Spectrum right now. Um, payment methods practiced by the company. Um, Spectrum and DISH, since they're in the same market or same industry, they tend to do the same thing, whether it's paying through an app, um, paying through mail, money order, um, texting uh, or calling in, that's their method of uh, payment. So they both use the same thing uh, to receive their money. So if you keep going down, um, disbursements, uh, collections, um, that basically means the goal of managing an account payable and this, this disbursement system um, to make sure it's basically done in a timely, accurate, and cost-effective manner. Um, one of the dishes disbursement methods is, of course, the direct deposit, um, and that's the same thing for um, Spectrum as well. So, like I said, they're in the same industry, so they kind of have similar methods of how they um, acquire their cash and pay their employees. So, we keep going down. We have cash positioning and cash management systems of a company. Cash position uh, represents the amount of cash that a company invests, um, funds are in the bank. Um, has on its books at a specific point in time. So cash position also indicates the financial strength and liquidity. So the average, so this network's average, um, as you can see right here for its cash flow per share, um, was about 5.504. So in 2013, um, the company's cash flow per share was at its lowest point in 5.06. Um, but after 2013, the cash flow continued to increase from 2013 to 2017. But its peak was definitely in 2016 with 6.11. So it's basically, really good that it's, it's increasing um, instead of decreasing. So they're doing a good job. Liquidity management is um, investor vendors and managers all look at the company's financial statement using liquidity measurement ratios. So that's your um, debt ratios, um, quick ratios, current ratios, things like that um, to kind of measure um, how a company does its assets in a short amount of time. Um, Companies that are over leveraged, they have to take a uh, step to reduce the gap between their cash on hand um, to meet their debt obligation. So that's why liquidity is so important. Um, this network um, offers um, different uh, packages for its uh, consumers. Um, like I said, it offers the TV, wireless, the internet, um, kind of bundle deal, if you will. Um, because I think it sets them apart from Spectrum because I know um, Spectrum does the same thing, but DISH has contracts. So a lot of people might be more um, willing to go with DISH because of their deals and of course because of the contract maybe makes them feel more secure where as opposed to Spectrum, they don't have a contract. So you're kind of in and out, not really, um, you're kind of free to do what you want. But I know a lot of people, um, based on the research, are more into security wise or for the short term. Um, as we scroll down, just a brief overview of what channel that DISH offers. Um, and like I said, similar to Spectrum because they're in the same um, industry. Um, so going down to Charter Spectrum, or Charter Communications Inc., a uh, brief overview of this company. Um, it's a holding company, like I said, they're in the same industry. It's a cable operator and a broadband communication service company. So they sell video and online advertising inventory to local, regional, and national advertising customers. Um, and manages information technology solutions. So, like I said, same industry, offer the same um, product, or if not similar. So, we keep going down. Um, their disbursement, like I said, the same thing as dishes. Um, I don't want to have to repeat myself, they kind of do the same thing. And keep going down, same thing with the payment process, as I said earlier. Um, they have the app, they have mobile device, um, mail, money order, call in. Um, like I said, same industry. Same method of payment, same way, uh, same thing with uh, their uh, disbursement of how they pay their employees via direct deposit or they um, have like a company card that they can load the money on, of course. So, um, so this is whenever a 
so we're down here. Um, right here where it says um, analysis of capital management. So this is where I kind of did the breakdown of the profitability ratios um, that we were talking about earlier with the liquidity ratio. So we kind of come down here and this is the formula for profitability ratios, net income by like total revenue times one hundred. Um, this network uh, return on uh, assets, ROA, if you will, was above 4% um, all five years except for 2015, while charters uh, assets were below zero and negative um, until 2016 and 2017. So that's, that's still kind of recent, that's still kind of fresh. Um, so based on that, um, charter was unprofitable for three out of five years where DISH never went under. So they were they were making their profits, um, they're very profitable off their assets, if you will. So going down to liquidity ratio, um, this network, uh, quick and current ratios outperformed charters on um, all five years, um, just blew them out of the water uh, based on the numbers and check the Excel spreadsheet and how I showed it. Um, and based on charters low liquidity ratio, uh, basically mean the company struggled to pay its short term obligations. So this basically crushed the whole comparison compared to uh, Spectrum. This could be for most two of the reasons. Um, it could be based on um, how they're uh, marketing their product or how they're moving and how they're investing and how they're collecting their money. Um, this outperformed in every uh, aspect of the company, um, which is shown in the numbers and also based on the um, analysis that I did. Okay. So if you scroll up a little bit, um, Conclusion I drew was right here. Scroll down a little bit. Yeah, you're going up. We're going to go down. We're going to go down. So, conclusion: Dish Network and Charter have similar methods in how they attack their consumer. Both use um, disbursement collection methods to manage its cash flows. But based on the financial analysis, Dish Network and Charter Communicate. Based on the financial analysis of Dish Network and Charter Communications Inc. over over five year period, Dish is a better ranked company than Charter because of its ability to liquefy its assets. An efficient rate in charter. This could be, like I said earlier, this could, I think, maybe because of the uh, contracts that Dish offers, as well as the variety of packages, and maybe it's because of popularity. Um, a lot of people know Dish more than Charter. They build a market longer than Spectrum, so um, they're not new to this. It's as close to Spectrum. So, um, if we go out of here and go to the Excel spreadsheet, um, a quick little um, overview of what it would look like. All right, so if we're looking at the Excel spreadsheet, um, this is Dish's income statement. Look quick overview of this. And then next we have the balance sheet. This is the balance sheet for Dish. And then we have Dish's ratios right here. As we talked about in the presentation, it's liquidity ratios, um, debt management, profitability ratios, all right here. Formulas are already plugged in. Next, we go to Charter's balance sheet. Next, we have Charter's income statement. And now we have Charter's ratios. And you can see that we, what we talked about basically is all right here. And then next over, this is cash flows. So I wanted to add that in because it was um, interesting to me. And that's it. Thank you.